I am sitting here in my mom's house in California and about a mile away is the library I used to go to when I was a kid. My mom would bring my brother and I there every two weeks, every other Thursday, where we would get a stack of books and have two weeks to read them and then bring them back and get more. It was kind of an event in our house because everybody would get books, my mom, my brother, and me. On Thursdays, the library was open late after my mom was off work and that's what we would do. When I was an adult, I moved to New Orleans and in 2005, Katrina hit. I was in the city for the storm and was evacuated out about five days later. I came here, back to my mom's house, back to California. We had no internet, we had no computer. All I had with me was a bag of clothes and every day my mom would go to work and take the only car. I would walk to the library every day to use the computer and to use the internet and to try to find people and to find out what was going on back in New Orleans and to find out the news beyond what was on TV. It really became my link to the outside world. And I find it's kind of amazing that the same library became so important to me at two different times. First, to open a book to another world and second, to communicate with the world. I think that libraries serve so many purposes that you don't think of until you need them and until you have to go and use them beyond just getting books. So thank you for everything that you do and for everything that libraries do. I am so humbled and amazed that my book might be on the shelves next to so many others that I admire. And I look forward to seeing it there and to meeting all of you or as many of you as possible. Thank you.